Mike, you have a question for LeBron. Okay. LeBron, are you ready? LeBron, just over the course of your playoff career, you've had a lot of players step up in, in different spots. I wondered what was special about Lonnie Walker tonight, especially in that fourth quarter. Um, I think it's self-explanatory, obviously, how special he was in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, he had 15 of our 27 points. Um, but just more importantly, just like, you know, my, in my career, my 20-year career, is, I've seen a lot of young guys um, kind of lose confidence in themselves or lose themselves if they, you know, been in a rotation or started or had big uh, minutes on the team and then they get taken out of the lineup, you know, because of certain situations or circumstances, whatever the case may be, and they just completely lose themselves, you know. And, um, you know, for him to be a young guy in his league um, and, and just consistently every single day showed up, been a professional, uh, great energy, you know, high character, um, it showed why he was able to, you know, throw everything to the side and just be him tonight in that moment. And, uh, you know, the game ball definitely goes to him. We don't win without him. Dave? Uh, LeBron and AD, if I could get both your perspective on the communication between both of you on, on the defensive sequence where Draymond had the ball late in the game, you guys end up with, you know, getting the ball without the Warriors getting a shot off. What are you talking about? Where's one? When Steph threw it out of bounds, that one? No, Dray Draymond throws it baseline. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, the the, steal. on the hammer action. Um, yeah, they were trying to run a hammer action for uh, for Clay. Uh, at that point, I think we were uh, switching everything. Um, just us communicating. <clears throat> when I seen, uh, um, I think it was Wiggs set the, yeah, the, set the, uh, the, the hammer action for Clay. Um, just read it and just taking them out, not even paying attention to the ball, and I just turned it around and the uh, ball was there. So um, that's our defensive, defensive yeah. communication. Yeah, I think the best thing that happened was that actually what ended up happening is that me and AD was in action. You know, we've been in enough actions where we can communicate to be able to you know, figure out the – Except the Minnesota play-in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was, I was going to mention that. <laughs> I tried not to bring it up. <laughs> um, Guys, I'm curious, um, with the energy that you're expending on the defensive end um, in this series and in the last series as well, how important has it been for you guys to have, whether it's Austin in game one, Lonnie tonight, there's been D'Lo moments, to, to have these other guys, what, what kind of trust do you have in them on the offensive end of the ball to kind of allow you guys to, in the fourth quarter, for instance, you know, take on one-on-one -on -one assignments with, with Steph? Yeah, um, that's what it's about. And you know, you know, me and Brian gonna do our parts. Um, but it's the other guys that's gonna help us win. And like you say, it's Austin, uh, D'Lo, Lonnie tonight, um, Vando, you know, making shots, um, playing well defensively. So them, the, them, the, <clears throat> them are the guys that's gonna help us um, go where we want to go. And. You know, we don't try to put too much pressure on ourselves. We have trust in all our other guys. Uh, like I said, we kept running, putting the ball in Lonnie's hands, running pick and roll, and let him, you know, make the reads and make the plays. And um, he played well tonight. But, um, you know, we have a lot of trust in our in our guys and, uh, you know, I trust that they're going to make the right play. We're going to take three more. We um, have to get out of here pretty quickly. So, Yovan. A uh, question for LeBron. Uh, we, we've seen the, the kind of chess match with you trying to draw Steph into actions you know, late in, in games for years now. Uh, you did that a lot in the, in the fourth tonight, and they were kind of trying to pre-switch it, but you kind of be deliberate and patient with it. Uh, what, why did the fourth quarter kind of feel like the time to do that, and, and why was that so effective for you guys on the stretch? Uh, I mean, it's just reading the game, you know, just um, figuring out best ways we can be um, – effective offensively and um, you know we felt like that was a an opportunity for us to try to get some good looks um, you know obviously you know that was what we went to and we was able to be successful in a lot of those possessions in the fourth there's a couple of them we, you know I wish I could have had back um, you know but for the, for the majority of the quarter we we was able to um, you know get some good looks um, you know with, with using either you know, me handling the ball with Lonnie setting it or whoever Steph's man was, you know, or me just setting pick and rolls onto Steph and, and seeing how they react to that. But, I mean, listen, they were doing the same thing to us from, from the beginning of the game. Steph was literally playing uh, angle pick and roll, targeting guys all night long, and you got to sit down and defend. 
and both I, I think both teams did that tonight. I mean, I mean, we shot forty six. Uh, we shot forty five. They shot forty six. We was twenty four from three percent. They was twenty nine. So both teams defended at a high level, uh, and that's what the postseason is about. Last two. Uh, both of you guys took the time to embrace Lonnie after the game. Um, what was your guys' message to him in that moment? Um, you know, he always, I know he said last game that, uh, you know, he always jumped to these moments of him planning a, you know, playoffs and, and big games. And uh, that was really it, just telling him, you know, this is what he was built for. You know, the moment he's been waiting for and he, he shined. Um, he did what he was supposed to do. He did what he knew he could, um, staying ready. This is why he put in all the work. Um, whether he's not playing, you know, he go through a stretch of games where he start and then he doesn't play. Um, and he always stayed mentally prepared um, and physically prepared to to check in and, you know, do what he do. So, um, you know, we right there with him. You know, he's always supporting us, um, whether he's playing or not. Great energy. Um, and, you know, it was a big time performance for him tonight. So we just wanted to, you know, embrace him and let him know that. Last question, Malika. You're, you're both champions. You both been in this position before where you're going into the hardest game, the elimination game, and it was sweet. Lonnie sitting up here saying, well, I hope to be in their shoes one day. We look towards them to sort of set the tone for the rest of us. What are you both communicating from top on down, sorry, Amara, to close this out in Golden State? Uh, well, we had a, a little experience in, uh, you know, around one and, you know, went on the road and, and then play up to our abilities in game five in Memphis. And um, so, you know, to be able to have a little bit of experience. Every game for us is another opportunity for us to experience something that we just haven't had as a group. Uh, we're a relatively young group. And you look at the, the teams in the postseason, uh, besides us, I mean, you got you got Phoenix. They added a couple of new guys, but they their team kind of been um, assembled for the last few years. Obviously, Denver's been together for years, Miami, New York. Um, you know, we're off the coach state. <laughs> So we're, we're, every game for us throughout this postseason has been an opportunity for us to grow and, and see how we can be better, you know. So tonight was another moment, and whenever we play, I know it's a, every other day, I don't even know what today is, but whenever game five is, it'll be another opportunity for us to, to continue to grow as a ball club. And um, so uh, I think we'll be ready. I mean, the one thing about when you play Golden State, you don't have an opportunity to relax. You just don't. So I'm not worried about us going in there comfortable. You just can't do it versus Golden State. It's not even – it's not possible. Sorry. <laughs>